Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. The new OBS Studio version 23 is available with plenty of great audio updates. So let's dive in and take a look at them. There really are some great filters. Now, on my microphone, I've disabled the noise gate so you can hear the fan coming from my Mac. Let's be quiet and have a listen. Quite noisy, and I'm sure you can see on the level meters there on Audition, uh, they are showing up in the audio background noise galore. Well, with the new OBS Studio, you can now eliminate that in much better ways. I'll show you how. First of all, go into Filters on your master audio source, and I've disabled Ozone 8, which I usually use, because now I can use these filters, such as Expander. If I select this, just on its default setting, it doesn't do much, and when I go Quiet, you can see the noise is still there, but this works as a downward expander, essentially the opposite of a compressor, pushing down, fading down any quiet bits that shouldn't be in your audio. So threshold here of minus 40, any audio below minus 40 dB will be squashed essentially by a ratio of two to one. If I push the ratio up though, watch and listen what happens to my fan. And there you go. At a ratio of three and a half to one, the background fan has completely gone. A much cleaner way of eliminating background noise. You get this nice blank waveform here showing there's no noise seeping through uh, than using a noise gate, which is open, closed, downward expander, just pushes that audio down. That's a preset expander. You've also got a gate preset as well that you can set up. It's rather a little more harsh, but it works like a dream. But I think I'm going to go back to my downward expander and set that ratio back up for around three and a half to one with a threshold of minus 40. That's fine. Let's move on to the next great new audio filter that has been added in version 23. And that is, well, it's quite an interesting one. Invert polarity. What does that do? Well, visibly not much to the waveform when I'm talking to you, but we can test this out. I do have a test tone that can show you exactly what invert polarity does. So let me add it first of all to this waveform and you see not much is happening there. Now I'm gonna play this test tone and watch what happens when I enable and disable invert polarity. <laughs> And that's quite enough of that annoying tone, but you'll see there, especially if I zoom in on my audition recording, essentially it is inverting the uh, waveform. It's turning it around. Not much reason you'd need to do this in case uh, maybe you were having some issues with phase, then you definitely want to look to adding this one in, but otherwise not really a need for it. Often you can invert waveforms to create karaoke tracks and so on by removing vocals, but really for everyday use, unless you're having issues, invert polarity, it's not one most users will be going for, but I can tell you one that every OBS user should be going for, and that is the brand new limiter effect. I fancy like maybe having a, a party emoji on the screen. This is amazing. I'm so glad that the OBS development team have implemented an audio limiter. I have said for ages, uh, even in my online courses, that I wish OBS actually had a limiter. What does a limiter do? Well, it limits audio at the volume you set, so it goes no higher than that. It does that by simply stopping the audio going above the dB limit you set. This is fantastically handy um, because if you go above zero dB, you distort, and if you go above zero dB when you're live streaming, you digitally clip, and some streaming services really don't like that. So let me show you what limiting does. I'm just gonna zoom out now on this waveform so you can see everything. I'm going to add the limiter and watch what happens to my voice as I set it up. So a threshold of minus six dB means that no audio will go above minus six. Move this down and you'll see how I get quieter as it's pushing me down. And look, I'm really tiny. Uh, no audio going above around minus 19 dB now. I've gone very quiet and, and very limited. So I'm gonna move this back up. Now, how would I usually set this up? See, now I'm back to normal. So it's limiting the audio audio from going high. It does that by sort of compressing down that audio and stopping it. Um, I'm going to suggest that you set this in your chain on OBS every time. Go for minus one dB. Release you can leave absolutely at 60 milliseconds. Not a worry there. That means no audio will go above minus one dB, so no risk of clipping. And this, in my opinion, should be a filter that every live streamer includes 
in their chain whether they're using OBS or any software you should always have a limiter now you can do it by default in the latest version of OBS other nice to haves in here well uh, you can go into the uh, settings here and you can go and look at your audio setup and you've got more microphone and auxiliary devices I think they've added in an extra one there and if you go into the advanced audio properties you've also got balance you can pan from left to right as well that wasn't there before so some really great additions to OBS Studio 23. Let me know how you get on and how you're going to be using these new audio features in the comments below this video.